Austin to Nashville, but you just got here and now you're leaving again. I've been here like two and a half months and yeah, I'll fly out on Sunday. So, so. When are you coming back? January. What are you doing down there? I'm going to go back and uh, work on the farm for a couple of months. It's harvest time here, so. Harvest, what's your harvest? Uh, crop, cash crop. Yeah, it's uh, wheat, canola, barley, veg, a bunch of other stuff. Okay. Well, what have, you been, what have you accomplished while you've been here in Nashville? I know that tomorrow night on your way out, you're covering for Tim and Timothy mm -hmm. at um, the Silver Dollar Welcome to Nashville Showcase. Yeah, true. Yeah, so uh, Timothy Chance Band, um, he's out of town, so they run a show to Welcome to Nashville every week. And I'm standing here for Timothy and him seeing the night, so it'll be pretty cool. How, when did, are you surprised when you were able to do something like that, being so established in Nashville? I think, man, it's more about... Um, you know, it's a great music city, but it's more about friends. And you like meet some really cool people. Like us. Like yeah, like you guys. Yeah. Like yeah. The yeah. The entourage that we seem to collect Yeah, and I think um, at the end of the day, like we've got a full band together now since I've been back here. And, um, you know, I, I, I think they're all friends. They're not musicians first. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not a musician. I'm not a <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's talk about your band members. Who all do we have there? So, Sonny Renaud. Okay. You don't have to say hey, man. You know who I am. <laughs> Just introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Sonny from Texas. I'm Ryan. Hail from New York. He's yeah. our bass player, right? Bass player. Yep. Yeah. And then we have the general. I'm the general, and I'm from Philly. It's nice to meet you. How long have you been here? Uh, just coming up on two months. He was one of the first guys I met when I got here. That worked out. Yeah. yeah. And now he's leaving. I was telling me they hot girls spring <laughs> break and then they go home. And you yeah. never see him again. But yeah. but I don't need a work visa to, to be here, so he's got to find one and come back. That's true, yeah. <laughs> but a good example again, you know, like I, I met this guy two days into town and uh, yeah, we got talking and quite the bromance ever since. Well, good for you, man. <laughs> good, luck, good luck with that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a <miss> <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing in town, son? Uh, well, uh, just singer-songwriter as well. Uh, me and Steve actually met on the set of uh, Nashville. Yep. Uh, both extras and the producers just kept putting us together in scenes, and uh, we were actually playing singer-songwriters on the show. Yeah. And uh, we hit it off on sets, and we're like, hey, man, let's hang out and maybe write some songs together. And so that's how our romance started as well. And that's what everybody does in Nashville. I mean, everybody here I've met, like, you kind of just kind of meet because you're out and you're surrounded by your own people and it kind of comes together. Right. And how did you get in the mix? Um, well, actually, I had a couple of friends that they didn't have what it takes to be Nashville. They were here about six months. They moved down here about a month into them being here. They were like, Ryan, you got to come check this place out. And I came down. I spent about four months gigging down on Broadway. And they all moved back to Florida. So I was like, just kind of freelancing around town. And I was like, you know, I need a vacation. I need to go see my family. And a day after getting back to New York, I got hit up by Jake, who unfortunately can't be here, uh, our drummer. He was like, hey man, got a new gig. I think you're gonna enjoy these guys. And just went over, I think it was at your house. Oh, yeah. We did a rehearsal and I was like, all right, cool, yeah. Kindred spirits, we all like to jam, we all like to just play music and just yeah. be ourselves. And you know, you don't necessarily need to fit into like the Nashville scene as long as you can just find kindred spirits and just I agree with that. be yourself. Like, I don't need a cowboy hat. You know? Right. You don't see that many cowboy hats anymore. Unless you're on Broadway. You know, but you see so many tourists that are like, check out my new okay. boots. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that if you buy one pair of boots you get two free? Yeah, okay. but you know that they're four hundred percent. Yeah. Boots came from Mississippi. Yeah, yeah. You're still paying one hundred percent too much. <laughs> yeah. They're not full of locals, but yeah, they're not full of locals. True. <laughs> so, um, what are your plans different? You do a different plan every time you come to town. <clears throat> so last time was more about um, like I'd never been to Nashville. I've been to America before, and Nashville from Australia is like the holy grail of music, as you yep. guys know. So, um, I just tried to settle in, meet some people, which I did last time. Some of those people are here now. Mm. Obviously, Sunny, which you talked about before. But once again, it's just about connecting with people and finding some people to gel with you. And we had a different sound, you know. We, you do have a, you know, the first time ever we met on Valentine's last year, by the did. way, we did. That's <laughs> not <laughs> not <laughs> <a> <laughs> <laughs> but, but I never heard you play, and I've, I've listened to your music and followed you on Facebook and your Twitter and stuff like that. But actually, last Thursday, Silver Dollar was the first time I ever heard you play, dude. It was really different. Thanks, man. It was more like a rock country. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, it's probably even pushing past that a little bit. So. Yeah. And who knows what uh, these group of guys and I will write in the next you know, little bit. You know, could well, be. let's talk about that. When people are following you now, that they're going to see this video, where can they find your music and keep up with everything you're doing? So Facebook's number one. So 
Um, I've got a couple of pages on the go because I keep maxing out of friends, but um, well, Facebook's the best. I've tried Twitter and I should get on Instagram and that sort of stuff, but and when I get back, I think I'm going to do more of that. I guess. Yeah, we're getting some people who really like our staff. So people can go to your fan page on Facebook Absolutely, and they can yeah. find out what you're doing and you shoot some videos down there, they can find them. And then whenever you're coming back to Nashville, they can find some of your news. For sure. So Steve Payne is my own page and I treat my own page no different than any friend would treat their own page. You know, Whenever someone sends me a message, I always message, message them back. I always talk to everyone. But the band now has a, a band page called Tennis in Down Under. I think in the first week we got a thousand likes. Yeah, because you're. Like, I was like number nine thirty-seven, yeah, yeah. and it was two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that. yeah. And we're only just settling into Nashville. I yeah. mean, Nashville here to tourists is about playing cover songs, and and these guys were all great musicians. I mean, they could sit down on Broadway tomorrow and kill it. But we play we play original stuff, which as a band it's kind of hard in Nashville too to find venues to support. Yeah, it is. And I wish the tourists, when they come to town, they would support the Rizzle music more. I was, at, I was with um, everybody Thursday night, and yeah. somebody wanted to hear, like, a Leanne Robinson. I said, well, they don't actually do that. Will you ask her? Yeah, I'll ask her. I didn't ask her. Yeah. But, yeah, it'd be insulting. Everybody's playing the Rizzle music. Yeah. So. Once again, it's back to friends and connections. Like, uh, we're at uh, Winners last Monday night, yeah. and I had a bunch of people who I met during the week come out there, because I said, you've got to come out there because there's original band, it's great music, I'll drop a covering occasionally, yeah. and it's amazing when the tourists don't know, like, mm-hmm. and they want to see, they want to see the new national next big thing, though. I mean, some, everybody out there playing can be the big person that they follow, and they can say that they go, so. For sure, that's all right, man, well, right, good luck, fellas, to the sea down under, that's it, right? Yeah. Kind of yeah. 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 Thanks, All right. Thanks. Bye, brother. <laughs> 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 All right. That's for Entertainment Weekly. Oh,